How to flip my first house. My name is Benjamin Goodpasture. I'm a real estate investor in Northern California. I focus on fix and flip, apartments, and vacation rentals. So flipping is an exciting business. It's a great way to add equity and net worth, but how to get started. It can be very overwhelming. Where to start, what to buy, lots of questions. So how I flipped my first house is we looked for a property that had two units. And so the goal was to live in one of them and rent the other. What we did was we found something that didn't need a ton of major work. You know, things like cosmetic repairs, something that, you know, we can do most of the work ourselves versus hiring it out to other people, which costs more money. With our first house, we bought this house, it was for $233,000. You know, we went in and painted the upstairs, did new countertops in the kitchen, new countertops in the bathrooms. Uh, some of the bathrooms are already in great shape. Overall, it was a very nice house. There was no air condition, air conditioning, so we had to upgrade that. That was a pretty expensive uh, repair, about $8,000 for new HVAC, new heating. Because we did that, that also triggered, we needed a new electric panel. So that was another, you know, couple thousand dollars we had to spend there. So that was kind of unforeseen. We didn't really know that because uh, we were pretty inexperienced. But um, so the main thing is when you're starting out is to find something that is affordable, that isn't gonna be crazy expensive and also get the right loan. With this property, we did an FHA loan, which means it's a government loan and we only had to put down 3%. So very low down payment. We also negotiated with the seller and had them credit us 3%. So that covered our closing costs. That's additional cash that we were supposed to bring to the closing table. And then another really great thing is including in our purchase, they included a brand new roof. So they put a brand new roof on for us. So we had a new roof. Uh, we installed the new HVAC system, which is air conditioning and heating. So we got a lot of those big things taken care of right away. And then we fixed it all up and furnished it, the top, the upstairs and then we Airbnb'd it. So turn the top unit into an Airbnb rental, we moved into the downstairs. So the downstairs, we didn't really do a lot of work because we didn't have the money. So we focused on the top, which was our asset, which made us money, we lived downstairs. After we started cash flow and making money, we renovated the downstairs, made it look a lot better, paint, new floors, all that stuff. And then we moved upstairs. So we lived in the upstairs, then we started renting out the downstairs. And then after a couple of years living there, we moved into another house. So either A, you could live in it for two years, sell it and pay no taxes on your capital gains, which is a great kind of house hack or a way of avoiding paying taxes, or you move out and you turn it into a rental. So either way is a win sell it after two years, take your profit, pay zero taxes, amazing deal there, or you move out and buy another property and turn that one into a rental. So either way is a win financially. Like I said, if you're, if you're new to this, this is your first house, I would say find something that isn't going to be overwhelming with the construction. You know, maybe you have more experience, maybe you have less, but if you do something that is, you know, floors, paint, you know, upgrading appliances, uh, curb appeal is really great, like doing new landscaping. That's stuff that you can do yourself or have your friends help you with. And so we did have some people help us, but we did most of the work ourselves. So that is the best way to just maximize your profits is doing the work yourself and it's a great way to learn. Two big takeaways I would say is one, you can do it on a budget, DIY, awesome way to do it. And then the second thing is it just builds your skills, it builds your confidence um, and it also creates momentum. So if it's something that you wanna do over and over again, just get in there and do it. The best way to learn is by doing it yourself.
That's it, that's how we flipped our first house. For us personally, we kept ours because we wanted it to be a rental. Now it's a two unit, like a duplex. And uh, we rent it out to one of our best properties that we bought back in uh, 2015. So. Get out there, make offers, take risks. That's that's what it's all about. Taking risks, taking action, and uh, you know, watch YouTube videos. There's so much information out there. If you have any questions, uh, shoot me a comment. Make sure to uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.